Welcome to this V-Ray feature short demonstration. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how we can use V-Ray environment fog to create a volumetric effect known as gut rays. There are different circumstances that may lead to the formation of crepuscular rays, also known as gut rays in the atmosphere. As an example, light passing through clouds in the sky could cause this effect. Also, light passing through dusty or foggy atmosphere could cause the gut rays effect as well. For the sake of this demonstration, I've prepared an interior environment. It's a no-chip interior which would be lit mainly by the moonlight together with some extra light sources to highlight certain parts of the ship's interior. Our goal is to simulate an atmosphere through which the light would travel and create a desired gut rays effect. First, let's render the scene to see what we are dealing with. Currently, all of the scene lights are enabled. To make things easier to handle, let's temporarily disable all of the additional lights and leave the moonlight only, since this is the light source that would be responsible for the desired gut rays effect. Let's open up the render settings and under the global switches rollout, uncheck the hidden lights checkbox. This way we can toggle the lights on and off by simply hide them and unhide them. Let's select all of the lights except for the moonlight and simply hide them. Let's render the scene once again before we create the gut rays effect. At this point, we can adjust the position and some of the settings of the moon light source if necessary. The light source itself is a V-ray sun with lowered intensity and a bluish tint which makes it appear more like a moonlight. We are going to create the gut rays effect by creating an atmosphere using V-ray environment fog. Open up the environments and effects window and under the atmosphere section click on the add button and select V-Ray environment fog from the list. For an in-depth information about the V-Ray environment fog and all of its parameters you can check out the volumetrics tutorial. Let's render the scene with the default environment fog settings so we can have some sort of a starting point. Clearly the fog height is too low and the fog itself appears to be too dense. Let's increase the fog distance parameter to make the fog more transparent. Also, let's increase the fog height parameter to make sure it covers the entire ship's interior. After we've done those adjustments, let's render the scene again to see what it looks like. At this point, we can make adjustments and re-render until we are happy with the result. In this particular example, I find the color of the fog to be too bright. Let's change the fog color to a darker grey. Also, let's enable all the additional lights in the scene. Since we want only the moonlight to be responsible for the gut rays effect, we should exclude the contribution of all the additional light sources from the V-Ray environment fog. Under the V-Ray environment fog node section, there is use all light option that is turned on by default. We can turn it off and add only the light sources we'd like. In this example, I'd like to add only the moon light source. Once we are happy with all of the settings, we can render out the final image. In this video, we went over the methods of creating God rays effect using the Vira environment fog. We've covered a simple step-by-step -step workflow of how to set up an atmosphere and use a light source to create the desired effect. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. Please give us your feedback, comment or share it. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, please download the scene from the link provided in the video's description. Make sure you check out more of the V-Ray feature videos and be on the lookout for new ones. Thank you for watching.